This is the way the Eagle was shipped to me. I went to put it on the table here to show you a nice unboxing and this is what happened. One thing about Home Depot is they have a habit of just taking the box that it was put in from the manufacturer, throwing a shipping label on it, and then throwing it on the UPS truck. Uh, most of the other places that I've dealt with before, like Amazon, they usually take this box and they put it in another box to give it a little protection. Personally, I think these boxes are designed to go on a pallet, get shipped to a store, and then taken off of that pallet and put on the shelf. I don't think they're really designed to uh, go from Anaheim, California all the way out here by the UPS trucks and trains and all that other stuff. So this is the second time that I've uh, gotten something from Home Depot.com where the box where they just shipped the box. Uh, it did come, everything came, but when I went to pick it up to uh, finally put it up here on the table, it, the box just fell out. So, so what you get in the box, you get the manual, which will sit and read, which I'll sit and read in a little bit. Some extra line, an Allen wrench, and a screw. Some cardboard packing. The shield, nice shiny black plastic. The handle, and this one's got a zip lock on it. My old fingers aren't real good at taking these zip locks off. Throw that on the ground. Then the machine itself, and this is the new carbon fiber shaft one. This one has the split in it uh, for shipping. Um, there is rumors that they're going to come out with one that's a solid piece, but this doesn't bother me too much. This is just designed for shipping. It's not designed for anything else. Um, not like the Toro Powerplex where you can take and loosen this up and fold it up, put it in your car to go over and trim grandma's lawn with. So. And let's see, here's the charger, typical Eagle charger, two and a half amp battery, so this is their small battery, and it says it's green, but I'm going to stop, come charge this up fully come back and then we'll go from there. Before I do that, put this together, all you need to do is bring this up. This is threaded and it's pretty stiff. Bring that up, put this bolt in this hole using this Allen wrench. Then mount your extra handle to the shaft. Do you need to see me do that? No. So, not to waste your time. Alright, so let's get everything charged up, get the bolt in, and we'll take it from there. I got the Eagle Power Plus string trimmer put together. Let's go over a few of the details on the assembly and the machine itself. First off, when you put these in, there's just two Allen head screws here goes into um, a piece of aluminum this piece of aluminum right here and it's pre-threaded for you so make sure that once you start them it goes in nice and easy it's uh, the screws are captive so they they won't fall out while you're trying to put it together it's a 15 inch cut that's uh, most of these electrics now are between 
between 13 and 15 inch, so this is the top end of the range. Uh, it has what's called a power head. Power head is pretty simple. You just take 15 foot of line, feed it through, and then push this button and it automatically winds it. It's a cool feature. I think it's going to work pretty well. This uses a bump feed head, so when you don't have enough line out, all you do is tap it on the ground while it's spinning and the line comes out and it trims it here on, these, on this little knife edge. Be careful, that knife edge is, is sharp, so if you're going to play with it, go this way, not this way. Carbon fiber shaft. Eagle claims that it, it is stronger than as strong as steel and as lightweight as aluminum and it feels nice. It's a nice carbon fiber shaft. Remember with a carbon fiber shaft don't hang these on your trimmer trap if you got one on your trailer because it'll wear right through this carbon fiber really fast. Uh, if you have a trimmer rack on your new Toro time cutter also be kind of aware of the fact that you want to make sure this is cushioned good with a piece of foam otherwise it's going to wear through and, and bust your trimmer on you. This hinge here, I talked about putting this hinge together earlier. This is a permanent hinge. Uh, the Toro Powerplex is the only one that you can use right now that you can take this apart, fold it up, and put it in your trunk. I don't like the handle on this. It's a standard handle. You know, a lot of people have it. It's got a little cushioning on it, so it's not bad that way. I think if you use gloves or dirty gloves, you're going to mess this up pretty fast. Where most of the other string trimmers use the hard plastic. Um, also, one of the other features that I like on the Toro Powerplex is this is easily adjustable. You just flip a little latch and you can adjust it up and down. So this one you set for yourself. If, you're, if your wife wants to use it, you have to loosen this up and readjust it um, for her. I don't like how tight close the handle is to the, the support handle. It's going to take me a little getting used to because i got to hold my hands closer together. But that's just me. This one has a new safety on it. This safety here is designed to squeeze with the edge of your thumb. You see how I'm doing it? And then pull your trigger. And the trigger is variable speed. Just, uh, this is a right-handed machine, it looks like. I can't quite figure out how to make that safety work using it with my other hand. So uh, if, you're, if you're one of the majority, the right-handers, you'll like that. This, this one comes with a 2.5 amp hour battery. And the 2.5 amp hour battery is sufficient for about 30 minutes of runtime. Uh, for me, just remember now, 30, 30 minutes of runtime on a battery is a lot different than 30, 30 minutes runtime on a gas engine. Because when you're walking from one place to the other, you don't, this is not running. So 30 minutes of actual runtime will last a lot longer for you than 30 minutes with a gas trimmer. Just snap it in. This battery uses the same mounts as all the Eagle batteries and all their tools. So they have one battery type. Uh, this is the smallest battery, the two, two and a half amp hour. There is a model out on Home Depot now I noticed that has a five amp hour battery if you have three, four acres to trim at one time. Or if you have a mower or something else that, ha that you want to have a spare larger battery for. They do make batteries up to seven and a half amp hour, but that would make this a pretty heavy machine. The way it is right now, it's balanced well. Let me back up. It's balanced well. Uh, it's not heavy. It's not heavy enough that you probably think that you'll want a strap with it. Um, Eagle does sell a strap. And it's quiet. The power button, power indicator here on the back, 
one of the things that I don't like about the Egos is that this either shows green or red. So you don't know how much charge you actually have in the machine until the battery is almost dead. So I wish they'd put a fuel gauge on this or at least a different colored LEDs. So like green for fully charged, yellow, blue, and then red. You know, like a four position. So you kind of know how much charge you got left. Um, all right, any questions, ask down in the comments below. Next step, we're gonna give this a try. See how it is for PowerWise. Just to quickly talk about the price, um, I purchased uh, this Tremor through Home Depot. I paid $229 for it. Um, Ego or Home Depot are not compensating me in any way for this review. Just to make that clear. Uh, the two and a half amp hour battery and the uh, 15 inch carbon fiber string trimmer is uh, running about 229 at the Home Depot. You can also get a five amp hour battery with it and it's an extra hundred dollars. Comparison wise, if you take a look at the DeWalt FlexVolt, which I think is a fairly compatible, comparable machine, that is 249. That comes with the 60 volt max three amp hour battery. That battery is just slightly bigger than the uh, the Ego battery. All right, I did a review of this on today's mower, and as you know, there's a couple things that I don't like about it, particularly the vented head, so you can't use it in wet conditions. Um, anyway, not to be too negative today, my favorite little trimmer this year is the Toro Powerplex. Um, it's the lightest one, has plenty of power. You can you can bend it in half. You want to bring it over and trim trim grandma's yard. That one also comes with a two and a half amp hour battery for about $169. Now I will say it doesn't have quite the power that the Eagle has, but it has plenty of power for your weekly trimming. So back to the Eagle. Eagle, the one that I'm testing is $229. Comes with a five year warranty and everybody rants and raves about how good the Eagle actually takes care of their your equipment if you have any problems with it. So, all right, let's go out and do some actual trimming with this machine. All right, let's see what it can do. It's gonna take me a while to get used to the safety. I'm used to having the safety on the top of the handle, but I'm old. I guess I can change. does not have a lot of twist when you're trying to cut down this tall stuff. It doesn't want to walk away from you like some of the string trimmers do. It's got plenty of power if you notice it never slowed down a bit. I would give the, a little more power than the Toro Powerplex 
and not quite as much as the steel commercial but the steel is a commercial brand so uh, I do like the line that uh, Eagle supplies that twisted line cuts this very well if you notice I took my time I didn't whip it around like I was trying to whack it off if you take your time and on the really tall stuff start from the top and work down you don't, don't end up with your grass getting wrapped around the stringer string trimmer head and all that type of stuff so all in all this is a good this is a very good trimmer uh, if you're if you want to buy some other eagle equipment you know like their lower and their especially their walk behind self-propelled mower uh, this is a good compliment to go along with it all right that's about it for me if you got any questions on it feel free to ask in the comments below and don't forget to if you want more videos like this don't forget to subscribe thank you